Hi, my name's Lee Tin and I'm here in Chicago with my friend and local barman, Jessica Tessendorf, and today we're going to show you how to make a south side. So the way I like to make a south side, we're going to be using fresh citrus juice, sugar, gin, and mint. So you can think of it in terms as kind of like a gimlet with mint or a gin daiquiri with mint, however you want to see it. We're going to do a three-quarter pour of your fresh juice, three-quarters ounce of one-to-one -one simple syrup. It's one part sugar to one part water. You don't even need to heat it up just as long as it's warm water. Cool. Then we pass it through a chinois to make sure there's no pieces. Beef eater London dry gin. And then depending on the size of your mint leaves, four or five, maybe six, I usually do a nice pinch. And then we'll do shaking it on nice cold draft ice. You don't actually have a shake face. A shake face? You work hard on not having a shake face. I think I'd be in the wrong industry if I had a shake face. Yeah, well, yeah. So to garnish both of these lovely south sides, I'm going to be using a fresh mint leaf and a few drops of Angostura bitters. Make it smell really nice and refreshing. Uh, you can serve it in a variety of different ways to make a south side. You could do a south side fizz and serve it in a Collins glass. Over ice with some soda water. You could do a south side royale and instead of using soda, you could use some sparkling wine or champagne. Are you That's good. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Let's bring it right. That's good. Yeah. That is good. But is it called a south side in other parts of the country? It is. So, as with a lot of cocktail culture, there's no agreed upon circumstance for where it started. I think here we'd like to believe that it started on the south side or frame of mind it's a popular cocktail rather than on the south side of Chicago. Well, it's delicious anyway. Well, good.